Neşir abi iş oldu. Evet. So after being in this rivalry for one year, what does it kind of mean to you this week? Oh, it means everything. It's, uh, it's battle for LA. Uh, last year I didn't really like gain like the whole grasp of it. I just knew it was obviously a big game, but like, like you know, going through a whole off season and leading up to now, like it's everything. You what made you realize last year that you know, the, kind of just the significance of the, the rivalry? Um, just the whole week leading up to it, like just how competitive it is, like you know, all the trash talking, and then you know after the game, just like that feeling, like you know, celebrating with your teammates after beating. Uh, your cross down rival, it's just, it's just like it carries into the off season as well. You know, just like everybody's like, yeah, good job being SC, good job being SC. So it's like, I don't know, it just goes all the way to You were once an SC commitment. Um, what? Take me back to that kind of recruiting process and UCLA versus USC and what that game meant and and all that kind of stuff. Like take you back then? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like then, like what it all meant. You know, you basically considering both the schools and stuff. You know, and and. Uh, to be honest, it was that. neutral then. I. To be honest, there's no like favorites. Uh, we, was I, I don't know if I was committed. Uh, was I committed on the game? No. I was decommitted. By yeah, you decommitted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It was it was a mutual thing, so it's not like you don't really choose a side when you watch a team because you're being recruited by both coaches. So, so does the outcome of this game have any impact on on kind of recruits' decisions in your opinion? Yeah. Think? In what sure. way? In a positive way. Um, everybody wants to play for uh, the winning team, you know, the farmer in LA. What have you seen out of that interior of uh, SC's line? Uh, they're great. They're very physical, very uh, they're massive. Uh, for how big they are, they're very athletic as well. Uh, so it's going to be a battle in the trenches this week. How does Buck Allen compare to some of the other backs you've seen this year? No, he's great. He's great. Um, uh, Buck Allen, I'd say, I'm trying to think of a comparison. I can't really find like a comparison because he's more he's more of a finesse back. You know, backs that we've been seeing recently are like you know like Shaq Thompson. Uh, Devontae Booker, you know, they hit the hauler power all the way. Um, where he's finesse, he's a very, uh, he's an NFL type back, you know. He sees a hole, he hits it, um, then he feel finesse you. He's, he's very good at breaking tackles as well. A little bit's been made of uh, their offensive line. They kind of do a lot of low blocking, a lot of cut blocking. What do you do as a defensive lineman to deal with that? How can you adjust technically to kind of deal with that? You just gotta play the cut, you know, when they hit you, gotta hit the helmet down. Simple as that. You can't get cut. It's one of those things there's no technique for, like, really around it, you don't get cut. With Allen, is it unusual to see a guy that's, you know, more of a finesse guy, even though I think he's like 220 pounds, 6'1? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it is, but it works for him, whatever works for him. I think he's leading the Pac 12 in Russian, so whatever works for him, it's been working the whole season, so.